Hello everyone, and we are going to cover the new functionality that is introduced in 15.8, which is managing of the saved views. Starting 15.8, customers now have the ability to manage the saved views that they can uh, create across different uh, parts of the application wherever we use common grid. Administrator, administrators with appropriate access rights can define now what should be the default view for that specific area. They can manage the different views as well as delete views. Why is this uh, functionality important? <clears throat> Uh, essentially, when we introduce the common grid component with the ability for the end user to save views, um, we were getting feedback from our customers that now there are too many views and it's hard for them to manage them. They wanted the ability to be able to delete it, as well as customers had asked that they want to define default views for any new user uh, coming into the system so that when they go into a specific part of the application, they don't just see the generic out of the box layout, but they see what has been configured by their administrators. Starting 15.8, you now have the option to uh, administer those views. You can define default views or uh, uh, different parts of the application. You can manage save views, which means you can uh, have views moved into your favorites, or you can even delete views that should, uh, that's one too many out there. So view management from an end user perspective, what is the um, experience? So each end user can still save their views in the system. So that functionality still remains the same where they can go in, they can uh, define their layout and then click on the save as and create a, a, a view, a saved view for themselves. Saved views when are uh, created by the end user are automatically added as that end user's favorite. So now there are going to be three sections under the views. So anytime the end user goes into the views, they will see three specific sections. The first section is going to be the default, which is right on top. Defaults will include views that the administrators have flagged as the default view for that specific section. So if I'm in the project grid layout, I can have default layout for that. If I am in um, ideas, I can have a default layout for that. If I'm in the um, staff, I can have a default layout for that and so on and so forth. So every sections of the application can have its own default layout. Favorites includes any view that that specific end user has created or any view that that specific uh, end user has flagged as their favorite. So if another user has created a view and I use that frequently, I can flag that as my favorite and then I will have that listed under my favorite section. And then any other views that have been created by other users in the system they all will go under the other section. So, and that's all the way at the bottom. This way, the end users views is not uh, cluttered. The list is not cluttered with everything else. It's just all at the bottom. The default, the admin defaults and the favorites are on top. Views saved by the end user is automatically added to the favorites. And user can pull in any other favorites. The View management look is also a little bit different. When the end user goes into the view management, they will see the different views and they'll have two options. One is the favorite, which they can check that value for any view. They can even uh, uncheck that value for their own saved views. So if they, if an end user created a view, but is not their favorite, they can uncheck that value. If the um, admin has uh, defaulted any view, then the default flag or checkbox will be populated. The end user can also delete their own views if they're no longer using that anymore. They have the option to just go ahead and delete it and it'll be removed from uh, everybody, uh, everybody's uh, saved views. For administrators, there is a new right now that is introduced. The new right is view administer. This right when assigned to an administrator gives them the option to define 
which view in that specific sections of the application can be defaulted. So essentially in the view management, the default column is now editable by that specific user that has view administer rights. One or multiple views can be set as default. The new user uh, accessing the grid uh, will by default see the view that has been defaulted by the administer. So for example, if I have my project list and administer has administrator has defined that uh, I can by default see the name, the start and finish date only. And when I log into the system by default, or when I log into the system for the very first time and I go into project list page, by default, I will see those three columns, the project name, start and finish date, because that is the default view. If the administrator does not have any default view, then the user logging into the system for the first time will see the out of the box layout, which has the predefined columns that, uh, that are there as part of the install. Administrators can define their or anyone else's view as the default. So if there is another user that has created a view in the system that I know others are using and should be made as the default, then I can, as an administrator, go check that as the default view for everybody. Administrators also have the right to delete their own and other views in the system. So with that, let's uh, go into the demonstration as to how you can create views and uh, the difference between the, the different types of views that you have in the system. So I'm going to log into my application as the administrator. And in this demo, I'm going to just stick to the project list page, but the functionality applies to every part of the application where we are using common grid. So here I'm going to see the project list layout. And the first thing we will see is that under the views, now you can see the three different sections. There is the defaults, which is right on top, favorites and others. I can pick any view that I would want to see. So if I pick Tim's view, now the layout has changed to seeing the different attributes that Tim is used to seeing. I can see the basic view and so on. So this functionality remains the same. If I go into the basic view, I can add additional attributes. And now I can save this as an additional view called demo view. When I do that, you will notice that the demo view is automatically added to my favorites. So by default, as soon as I create a view, it becomes my favorite. You will also see that the view that I'm looking at is not displayed right here, but it's highlighted in this dropdown. So I'm looking at the demo view and that is highlighted. If I go to manage, the layout is that I see the created by me first. I see the list of all the views that are created by me. I can see which ones are in my favorite. So I can say demo view is not my favorite and I can uncheck that. I can see because I have the new access right, which is the view administer, then I can set the value for which view should be default. So in this case, I'm using this default view as the default. I can check more than one as my default. And that is done intentionally so that if you have in an uh, organization multiple departments using the application, then you want to have the ability to define default views for different parts of that application. So that's why the default view, uh, you can do more than one. I can look at the views created by others. And I have the option to pull in any view created by other as my own favorite or as an administrator, I can set any one of their views as a default. I do have the right to delete any of the um, other users view. So I can just do that and delete the view that is created by the other user. 
or I can delete my own views if there are too many in the system. That concludes the demo for the view management.